as we're gonna hop right into it. You're welcome, Eric. Beast will always be a charge, but no. Okay. It's interesting to see a lot of these games come uh, start on Smash though. After more uh, after casting fusion and just seeing PS2 for a, a solid three hours, it's nice to have other stages. <laughs> Love that the I've been the, the match that I saw on the stream recently, I've been playing super, super well, and that's uh, that's a clear example of it. Crazy strength and both of these players in order to build up solid damage, and start taking turns, taking turns, killing each other right from the right from the jump. That is under that PK fire. Good punish though. A couple no punches on these PK fires. Down air, two, three. He's looking for the upper hand of the down air, but always not in the right position to do so. Oh, oh what up? Oh, no. Goodbye, person. Back to the match as the spike comes out. There, number four is going to do it. Ends up taking the stop and just in the right spot. That's a couple of tilts. It's low in order to the, the uh, platform pressure. And more dares. These sides were coming in clutches. I can find it. Almost takes his stock. Look for the two frame on the bear, but not able to find it. And the uh, is able to get back to the center stage and get back some momentum with it. Tether recovery. Good for getting around the uh, tether. Cancel it back. Good for getting around the nucleus eye shenanigans. And by that, I mean a regular video. Here. Here. Let's go. What's up, bro? What's good, I, this is my son, Pat. I'm right here, you're in. I have to give you a special right. role to join the channel. That's why... Oh, oh is? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Alright. Hold, uh, hold up, hold up. Uh, join the... Right, hold on a second, I'm gonna get you set up. Just, uh, don't say anything first. Copy. Alright, so I'm just gonna, gonna keep on casting solo for a brief moment. Nice. Beast is in his comfort zone. High percent with Charizard looking for this high damage that he can land on the back air. Never mind. He's gonna take that up smash. He's gonna eat that up smash on an aggressive ledge hop. But then immediately puts in a good spot thanks to the invisibility he is by putting uh, onto this platform. He's gonna hit some up there. up and down, laddering himself. But once Ah is able to get grounded, he starts to really rack up damage just a little bit, using these PK fires and spacing himself into the into the correct distance to land them safely. Great night down the chair coming up. A couple of these tether cancels are good for getting putting uh, into a more thinking state. He has to start He's starting to realize that, hey, I can't just subconsciously go for yo yo. And I'm gonna have to start making more moves that are a little bit better when, uh, when Ivy Sword is out. But now 150, 161, and climbing. Luckily, Charizard is so heavy and has the, has the rage comeback mechanic kind of just built into him. So much, so much fast, big options. But getting. Getting any hit on Ness is gonna be a trouble. And Air Dodge he gives okay, him the opportunity in the polar, which is gonna take why so much more damage once he had his opening, once he had the ground and had the stage, Beast did not let up. Living at 170 and taking that final stock when it mattered. Game one going to Beast. Whew. All right, so I'll beast one game one. I see my son beast. My son's on the Wi-Fi grind. It's why this is best of five, and all the sets going forward should be best of five. Oh wait, uh, losers takes forever to catch. So you do best of fives on on Xeno Wi-Fi? I mean, when we got time, we're early. It's nine o'clock, and we're not gonna be streaming most of losers, so it should be fine. No, oh, I felt that. That's valid. Uh, Beast, this is what winners quarters and beasts is already in 
Beast is well not already, but Beast is pretty far. That's nice. Who? Uh, let me see who Beast. Be let me catch up on bracket. Uh, Beast beats Tad Soda to get where he is, but I didn't see who he beat in his own pool. Ah, uh, see. And a quick update from bracket. Is that correct? It looks like Spiro DQ'd. Uh. That help. I must have been the automatic DQ timer. I'm gonna reset the match. Mm. Oh, he had a pretty decent run. He beat Stretch and Wild Card. Those are some pretty. I would say those are pretty good wins. Those those guys are pretty good. Right. Yeah, Stretcher is. Uh, he got second at Fusion this week. Phenomenal player. Yeah, I think I like about Beast is um. I think I like about Beast Pokemon Chain is that he emphasizes like the cheese that that Charizard could do because like <laughs> Charizard really is like and I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way like Charizard really could like steal stocks bro and I feel oh, like a lot of people just don't they don't really they haven't tapped that power yet and Beast is like really big like he really um, he really came to the test look he even starts Charizard like what Pokemon Chain even does that to be honest well, I don't to, know be, do that. to be fair Wi-Fi but I see what you mean like when Beast was, whenever a lot of players were unlocking the potential with Squirtle and Ivysaur and Urgenetas uh, Beast was unlocking Charizard potential and all yeah. the back throw combos and setups into flare blitz like that's where Beast was honing his craft was the huge point oh, that was a he nice dies job. for it he dies for it that was, that was a nice play but it just didn't work out yeah he still he lands it anyway it. yeah he lands it anyway but it's it's a trade for a stock not a nice trade nah 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 if he keeps but he's on the effect yeah there you go he, he, he was on the effect yeah eventually yeah, he was on the line. Yeah, he was on the offensive and he smelled blood in the water, so he knew he was like, Oh, you trying to leave? You trying to show him his little converses? Or something that's got some fly kicks. Something that Ud does really, uh, really well is when he wants to land his back air, he's, he's hit, he's mashing back air, but he's also not like putting it on your shield. He's just putting it in front of you, not put, not letting you play out of shield, especially not a character like Pokemon Trainer who, across all three of them, have decent out of shield options. He's just setting up a wall and putting you in your putting you in this corner with all of them as his huge hitboxes and waiting for you to get impatient. Yeah, that's pretty much how you have to land back is at a higher level. They're not, no one's gonna give it to you, so you kind of like have to apply some pressure with it. And the thing is, Ness is like again, Ness hitboxes are so good. They're See, like so right now. Yeah, he, he's doing like these double back airs, trying to catch him jumping, and then if that misses, he can land another one to catch him. Holy oh, oh, that was a nice favorite, bro. It, that was really good. Yeah, the natural counter to just like putting out these hitboxes is to stuff them. And I guess Flare Blitz is one of the ways to do that. <laughs> yeah, these guys are going blow for blow right now in terms of like stocks, man. It's like no one can keep a stock. But the way if it goes blow for blow, it's in E's favor because he's the person that took the stock. He's, and he'll always he'll always manage it to be heavier than than uh because he'll can always switch to Charizard who will live more more frequently to percents like 170 is that oh landing read. Wow, you he, so, he, so that Ness, uh, I, I want to call him by his name, I don't want to, uh, but, uh, that seems to be his name. I'm pretty sure he has a real username, I just got to look it up. No, he, it is, uh. <laughs> oh, amazing. So, Beast kind of saw that he was throwing out a lot of back airs, and I'm pretty sure Beast, like, kind of recognized that early on in the set, but he, I guess he saved it for his big read to take the stock. He took that stock pretty early, too, I think. Yeah, he, he thinks some awesome packet. Though. Yeah, that was wild. I Ivy Store doesn't match is crazy. Yeah, Ivy Store can still, like, I I don't know. I have a high opinion of Pokemon Trainer already, but Ivy Store is, is once you're able to, once you're able to land some of the root kill, uh, the up and down and up smash out of Ivy Store and uh, Vine Whip, like those moves themselves, despite him having a less aggressive, Ivy Store having a less aggressive neutral, he kills just as early. Or yeah. she, I is a girl. Yeah, it's, it's just wild. Like, uh, both, I don't know, like, both, both of those, Ivysaur and Charizard mainly, they just have potential to just, like, body stocks, man. Yeah. Um, 
I forgot this was best of five. I forgot he told me that. Yeah. Best of five and Kamna is looking for... It looks like they're changing stage dynamic because I don't know how much uh likes uh, likes Kalos, but or he's changing stage character to uh to Richter. Changing it to Richter. Richter, Red Richter, Mr. Belmont. Uh well, I mean hmm. I don't understand why he has to switch characters but he's probably messing around. So oh. I'm just like yo, Richter on Wi Fi. Oh it's Kamina. Yeah. I mean, if, if Kamina, who his tag is after, uh, he's a Richter man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I guess Beast is like, this is for my boy. This is for the, for the homies. Yeah. To be fair, I mean, it's, Richter is, is a, is a voice to be reckoned with on Wi Fi. That's also true. So, uh, Richter's one of those that jumps a tear on Wi Fi. Yeah, so is Nesta. I feel like Nesta's been a while, but so they're just kind of fine for center stage right now. I, as I think, oh my god, that was a beautiful catch. I feel like this is where Victor wants to be. He wants to like, um, he wants to you know be in the center stage and have the opponent with his back to the you know to the ledge, so it's harder for him to escape all of his uh you know all his projectiles and whatnot. Yeah, and fortunately for, for Beast, the PK Thunder 1, when he hits you, sends upwards, which can give Richter a lot more land, uh, landing and recovery mix-ups, because now he's an access to his down air again, as opposed to when he's horizontal to the stage like this, and he has to rely on his, uh, his whip. Yeah, the angle is a lot better, better for him to land. Oh, nice grab. So, as you can see, he really just, he's controlled center stage really well. It's kind of, it's kind of impressive for like, someone, like, who doesn't aim right <laughs> But, I, mean, I guess he has a pocket, a pocket right there. He's just kind of has pocket Wi-Fi characters, like pocket Zelda, pocket Mario, like, he's just characters that are good on Wi-Fi. Despite PT already being, like, perfectly fine on, like, Wi-Fi in general. So... <laughs> I feel like he could have gotten the uppercut if he didn't. He's looking for it. He's looking for something. Yeah. That's an up smash. Uh, yeah, he, he thought he was going to jump. It wasn't the worst read. It was a hard read, but I respect it. Yeah, uh, there's the uppercut I was looking for. Luckily, Richter can make can, uh, make space pretty easily because the uh, down tilt two for for Richter crosses stage so far that at the very least you're getting out of neutral air or down air or not down a um, a back air after doing something like that and putting out hitboxes, getting that space. Now you're about to throw your items. Like down down to it is something uh, needs to respect just a little bit more because as you keep trying to apply pressure, Beast is just able to get right out of there as soon as you yeah. Out. I feel like as a Richter, and, oh, that was a, so that's one of the big negatives is that their recovery is really, really bad. Yeah, like, I'm especially with, especially with characters who have like, what I call like, snipe edge guards. So people like, Nash, Snake, you know, who just like, stay on stage and throw some projectile that you control. Those really, really hurt Richter. Yeah, it's, sure. it, it makes, yeah, it makes it hard for to recover and it's just one false move and that's it. I'm done. Just like that. Yeah, there's not really much to counter pull. Oh, he just ran up and did it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's not really much counterplay that Richter can do besides start uh, inputting your recovery earlier. So he needs to roll on that, uh, on with that PK fire, trying to apply pressure with these items. But uh, Ness's near out of shield is a catch-all. You get off the tool. Yeah, that ball. Ness's near out of shield is just, that that that's a really a really good out of shield option. A lot of people feel like don't talk about that thing. Oh, yeah, nah, that killed. Yeah. That was, it was a really good match up until like, you know, Richter just got sniped off stage and it was over for him, which it'd be like that sometimes. Maybe it's, this would just be a a nod to just go back to, to PT. Yeah, just head back to PT. But it's like, if he wants to try it again, I can see it and try and like take a deep breath and move back in with Richter because his Richter was doing fine. He just lost every, all the momentum that he built up once he got exploited because sometimes you can forget like oh his his recovery is kind of fine when you have that long of a tether but 
equipped once in the wrong way and you're dead at any percent. <laughs> yeah. It it was a good it was a good match until that like last bit, which is probably like every Rick that means um nightmares is like well I made one mistake off stage and now I'm dead for it. Yeah, it's, it and must then, be a scary life. Just a little bit. Like you have to be so like aware of everything that's coming at you, whether the, uh, whether it be the player themselves or whatever whatever items or snipes as you so gracefully called them. Uh, yeah, it's coming off the stage for him. As we do see the switch back to PT. Okay, so, Smash is a pretty, you know, pretty small stage because I don't think any of these characters like to necessarily run away, but I, if if one is going to do it, it's probably going to be Ness, and I guess there's a good, good way to make sure that he's always in Ness's face. But like I said, I don't really think any of these characters want to necessarily zone. Like, oh, there it is, the back throwback. Yeah, that combo is fire. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, uh, Speaking so, of fire, we see a, some liberal use of PK fire that comes out of, uh... God, that, it's, that name is so awkward to say sometimes. Yeah, is the, thing, the thing I like about, like, the thing that I noticed about these, like, game, like, his game plan is that he, he seems to always go for the reads that will kill someone the earliest. I could go for the hard reads, like, oh, I'm going to cover the option that if he does it, he'll die, like, at this percent, rather than just trying to cover the safe, like, you know, safe punish options, which is, like, you know, not the, not a bad thing, but, you know, it's just something that I've noticed. It could work out sometimes. Especially if you mix it up. Oh, yeah, even with the It's the a lot of the times that uh, I, what it looked like he caught a he caught a jump from ledge and as long as you go deep like that, especially with targets, actually rather decent airspeed which lets you frame trap super well. Going deep on stage like that, like definitely worth it. But another up smash on a shield coming out from uh, something he's been doing frequently, uh, baiting he bait, he's been baiting a lot of neutral get-ups and get-up attacks on ledge and going for yeah. some up smashes out of shield in order to both catch ledge if he if he's just charging it or to catch any sort of jumps or neutral get-ups out of it. So right. random taunt from uh like in the middle of neutral. Hopefully he doesn't get taunt to get bodied. I'm pretty sure this happened a lot this tournament, but oh my god. Uh, yeah, he was holding up and mashing jump right there. I feel like ch since Charge was a fire type, like Beast is like holding, like taking his PK fires off some Zankai, like off some Dragon Ball Z, and he's just getting stronger. <laughs> Hopefully that's the case, because taking otherwise taking three PK fires is not something you want to do. That's very demoralizing. I'll be dumb tight. He's scared because they're just taunting. Oh, him. okay. He's just... What is going on? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I saw a taunt once, and then he's taunted like four or five more times after yeah, that. Yeah, this is this is that ratchet game play I live for. Oh, he didn't die. Two, three. Night. Those are some nice. I guess that's a cool air star. I've never really seen Nessus do that with the air star. Oh, that it's was a. It's an air stall, but it doesn't really like provide much protection like something like Dancing Blade does. Nah, it's, it doesn't. It's less, like directly above you, I guess. But if you're that high, what's the matter? Speaking of that high, he's going straight out. Yo, these guys need to go blow for blow, bro. It's just wild. And these times, like you talking yeah, on the platform an 850 for it, like it was it worth I it? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This is weird. Someone's throwing. Nah. Okay, ooh, nice, nice run away from the platform up there. I was expecting a forward there, but he just knows. Like, Ness is just, the thing is, Ness is, like, kind of similar to Palutena in a way. He gets a lot of his momentum and moves started when he jumps. You know, like, his ground wounds aren't bad, but in the ground, he's mainly going to probably just grab, you know, or throw a PK fire or something. It's really in the air, so if you can capitalize on that and just know, like, oh, hey, Ness gets a lot of stuff started when he jumps, you know, you can get some pretty good reads off that. Yeah, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of these hitboxes are so big, though, that they can kind of, like, count as pseudo-ground moves. And, nah, yeah, that's a fact. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Spacing for the sweet spot and getting it. 